so this is the animatronic skull I made, fully homemade. Um, the only things I bought were, of course, it came, I had to buy a styrofoam skull. It was all one piece, $6. A set of four styrofoam eyes, 99 cents. Um, this cardboard I just had. I had, I had the 9 volt batteries, but it's like $2 for a pack of two. Um, and then the light bulb battery, the receiver, and the servo. Um, but the servo and all the electronics came out of an old remote control plane that I had. So how it works is, this is my, it's a three channel remote control, and, um, this servo here, on the side, you can see it there, has a piece of wire going that hooks onto the mouth. So I'll show you how that works. Um, here. So I just have to turn it on. Turn on my remote control. And that's the servo, so sorry. That's the servo there, so you could see it pulls back on this wire that opens and closes the mouth. Sorry. Now, what keeps the mouth closed is this rubber band on the side. It goes from this temple here down to the lower jaw so that whenever it closes, the rubber band pulls it back up. And it's all controlled by three-channel remote control. The eyes have two red 2.4 volt LEDs in them that I wired. The LEDs start in this eye, and then the, this is the wire here that goes into this 9 volt battery. The wire comes up, then down into here, then down and back to, to this switch. Push button switch there that goes into the battery. So. This push button switch actually used to be connected to the circuit board right here, and this activated the engine of the plane, but I made it so that when I press it, the LEDs in the eyes lit up. Just the way the circuit is, the left eye is brighter, but they still both light up. Um, so, give you, you can see here. So it goes, the servo is, you see in the side, that pulls back, um, the receiver is right here, and what I, actually the hard part was mounting the servo in, what I had to do was, I took an X-Acto, and I cut a box that I measured out to be the shape of the servo, and then I took a... I used the back of the exacto and I scooped out all the styrofoam so it fit in perfectly. But then I s realized that the wire from the servo was going to break if I left it like that. So I made a hole in it that goes, the hole actually goes from the servo down through the skull and comes out right there. You see that multicolored wire is actually the servo wire. And that goes into the receiver. So the two circuits are the LEDs in the eyes and the mouth. Now the system I have is I put it on top of a tomato cage, actually, or a stool. And then I put that speaker over there underneath it that has the microphone on it. So I could talk and move the mouth at the same time. Mouth usually closes more. I have to fix the rubber band. But, um, yeah. It's my animatronic skull. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or a video response, and I'll be sure to get back to you.